Thank you for viewing this video. Please subscribe to Lost Tribe DNA. Please like, comment, and share all of our content on Lost Tribe DNA. The House of Khalifa, revered as the ruling family of the Kingdom of Bahrain, stands as a testament to a lineage deeply rooted in the tapestry of West Asian heritage. A significant discovery reveals that they belong to the Utab tribe, a distinguished faction within the Aniza tribal confederation, whose ancestral journey traces back from Central Arabia to the prosperous lands of Kuwait and Qatar. In a momentous turn of events, the ascension of Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa to the revered position of Emir of Bahrain in 1999 marked the dawn of a new era. His subsequent declaration as the rightful king of Bahrain in 2002 further solidified the noble legacy of the House of Khalifa, propelling them into the annals of history as custodians of a proud and storied heritage. Delving deeper into their lineage, recent advancements in DNA testing, notably within the exclusive T-Arab Y DNA haplogroup project, on family tree DNA and other esteemed Arab world projects, have shed light on the intriguing genetic makeup of the house. The revelation of the TFT364053 haplogroup among their descendants underscores a profound connection to ancient ancestries and offers a glimpse into the intricate tapestry of their genetic inheritance. Furthermore, it is intriguing to note that within these specialized genetic projects, a wealth of knowledge often surpasses traditional scientific discoveries. The intimate personal connections shared by project administrators, many of whom belong to the Teeth Haplogroup, not only enhance the research efforts, but also enrich the collective understanding of the genetic heritage woven into the fabric of the House of Khalifa. As we unravel the nuanced layers of their ancestral history and genetic lineage, we come to appreciate the House of Khalifa not only as formidable rulers, but also as custodians of a profound and ancient heritage that continues to shape their esteemed legacy in the Kingdom of Bahrain and beyond. Bahrain, Balancing Tradition and Modernity The Las Vegas of the Gulf? Bahrain, a small island nation in the Gulf region, has often been referred to as the Las Vegas of the Gulf due to its unique blend of modern amenities and cultural traditions. One of the distinguishing features of Bahrain is its tolerance of certain practices, such as the availability of alcohol and the heavy taxation levied on it, which sets it apart from its neighboring Islamic nations. This paper delves into the juxtaposition of Bahrain as a hub of entertainment and luxury, akin to Las Vegas, against its deep-rooted Islamic heritage and ancient treasures such as the Dilmun burial mounds, highlighting the complexities of balancing tradition and modernity in this dynamic society. Bahrain as the Las Vegas of the Gulf Bahrain has earned a reputation as the Las Vegas of the Gulf due to its comparatively liberal attitudes towards certain aspects of entertainment and leisure. Unlike many other Gulf countries where the consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited due to Islamic laws, Bahrain allows the sale and consumption of alcohol in licensed venues. However, this comes with heavy taxation imposed on alcohol making it a luxury item that contributes significantly to the country's revenue. This revenue stream plays a crucial role in funding various governmental initiatives, infrastructure projects, and social programs, contributing to the overall development and sustainability of the country. The presence of luxury hotels, international restaurants, and entertainment venues in Bahrain mirrors the vibrant and lively atmosphere often associated with Las Vegas. The balancing act of allowing certain liberties while regulating them through taxation reflects Bahrain's pragmatic approach to maintaining a delicate equilibrium between modernity and tradition. Amidst the glitz and glamour of modern Bahrain lies a treasure trove of ancient history and cultural heritage. The Dilmun Burial Mounds, designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stand as a poignant reminder of Bahrain's rich past dating back to the Dilmun and Umm al-Nar cultures. 
These necropolis areas on the main island of Bahrain serve as a testament to the deep-seated reverence for ancestors and the afterlife prevalent in ancient societies. By striking a delicate balance between cultural values, economic pragmatism, and historical preservation, Bahrain navigates the complexities of evolving as a global hub while staying rooted in its rich legacy. The coexistence of luxury entertainment venues and ancient archaeological sites symbolizes Bahrain's ability to embrace diversity and uphold its heritage in a rapidly changing world. In ancient times, Bahrain was recognized for its vast number of burials, encompassing several square kilometers of mounds that were considered one of the largest cemeteries in the ancient world. These burial sites are predominantly located in the northern part of the island atop rocky terrain, as opposed to the sandy, desert-like environment in the south. Recent studies suggest that around 350,000 ancient grave mounds were likely created by the local population over thousands of years. The mounds vary in size and style, indicating different eras and cultural influences. Ongoing research conducted by the Bahrain National Museum, along with the Bahrain Historical and Archaeological Society, aims to establish a definitive timeline for these burials and analyze their societal implications. Each burial mound typically consists of a central stone chamber surrounded by a low ring wall and covered with earth and gravel. Most mounds measure around 15 by 30 feet in diameter and 3 to 6 feet in height. The smaller mounds usually contain a single chamber, while larger ones may have multiple alcoves within the rectangular chambers. Individual burials within these chambers were common, with some chambers holding several individuals. The deceased were typically positioned with their heads in the alcove end of the chamber, lying on their right sides. Grave goods accompanying the burials included pottery, shell or stone stamp seals, asphalt sealed baskets, ivory objects, stone jars, and copper weapons. The burial practices reflected a diverse representation of both sexes, with an average life expectancy of around 40 years. Children were often buried within and outside the ring wall, with an average family size of 1.6 persons. The noble royal house of Khalifa, whose lineage traces back to the esteemed Aniza tribe and upholds the sacred tenets of Sunni Islam, stands as the revered ruling family of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The illustrious Al-Khalifas, descendants of the noble Ahmed ibn Muhammad ibn Khalifa, who rose to power in 1783, have woven a rich tapestry of history and tradition that resonates throughout the lands they govern. Embracing a legacy forged through migration from Naj to Kuwait and then to Qatar, where the majestic Al-Zubara stood as a testament to their prowess, the Al-Khalifas finally settled in Bahrain in the early 17th century. It was in these hallowed lands that they established their rule, with the current sovereign, King Hamad bin Isa Al-Khalifa, ascending to the throne in 1999 as the emir before coronating himself as king in 2002, ushering in a new era of constitutional monarchy. Within the corridors of power, the Al-Khalifa family exerts significant influence, with key governmental positions often occupied by distinguished members of the royal household. Notably, the esteemed Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, scion of the reigning monarch, serves as both the country's prime minister and a prominent figure within the al-Khalifa family hierarchy. Through triumphs and tribulations, the al-Khalifas navigated a tumultuous period marked by internal strife and external threats, emerging victorious to safeguard the sovereignty of Bahrain against formidable adversaries such as the Wahhabis, Omanis, Ottomans, 